Okay, let's have a look. Let's have some very easy methods for now. Number four. Okay. So first of all, number four, you want to add two new attributes, first name and last name. Now, whenever I say add a new attribute, think about its type. What should be the type for first name and last name? String. Good. Good. Very good. So let's go back to person here. Let's just add them. That's easy. Oh, one more thing I want to mention. Whenever you declare attributes, that means they can be used within all the methods. I'll make it a point here. Every declare attributes may be either used or changed okay, in all methods of person class. For example, get BMI, we use weight and heights. For change nationality, we try to change the nationality attribute, right? You may use it or change it. It's up to you. So now let's add two new. String. By the way, the order doesn't matter. String. Uh, first name. String. Last name. There's something I want to show you. Something that's very cool. Eclipse. So let's say you declare the I'll show you that later. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. First name, last name. Okay. So now let's define according to number four. How do we change the first name? How do we change the last name? Let's do it. Okay. Now I would say define two setters or mutators for. Okay. How about let's let me take out a two. First name and last name. How do we change the first name and last name? We want to change something. Void. Set first name. And here we do want to take an input value to see what the first name should be, right? So now we can say string mu first name. How about that? Okay. So now we can say first name is assigned to new first name. I'm sure you can do you can do how to set a last name, right? Let's try to do that. Very easy. Copy that. Set last name. Different method here. New last name. Let's just make it more a little bit more readable. So now I'm gonna say last name is gonna be changed to new last name. By the way, also in Eclipse, you may observe this. Last name and first name, they are high they are marked in blue, which means they're attributes. On the other hand, uh, NLN, NFN, they are kind of like a gray. So that means they are the parameters. That's how the uh, highlighting is trying to help you. Okay, now we want to define getters and also accessors for first name and last name. Okay, let's see how we do it. This one is actually much easier than get BMI. There's no computation necessary. Just return the value. Okay? You can say, I want to return a string. And what does it return? Get first name of the person. Oh, sorry, no input here because we don't need any extra input. It's just whatever the first name should be. Get first name. I can simply return the first name. And string get last name. Return the last name. Okay, first name, last name. Let's try this first. And now I'll do the marry method in very quickly. Person tester. Let's go back. And now system the out dot print line. Jim's first name. Uh, first and last name. Let's make it easy. Last names. Let's say print. And then let's do another line. Since in the outer print line. Okay, let's put a colon here. And so now I can say Jim the first name plus space Jim dot 
last name. So now that's before we set it. That should be the default value, right? Because we didn't initialize it. Okay. If you execute this, Jin's first name, last name is now and now. Okay, that's expected. Okay. Now let's set it. Okay. So now let's say system dot dot print line. Set Jim's first and last names. So now, how do we do it? Make, make a method call, like how we change the nationality. Jin does set first name, Jin. Okay? And Jim does set last name. Let's say Davis. Jim Davis, for example. And then, can we just copy these two lines over here? Okay? Oh, sorry. Copy these two lines. Paste them here. So basically, after we call these two lines, we're going to see the first and last name will change for Jim. Try that. You will see. Uh, I'll highlight it for you. You can see Jim's first name and last name before we change it now and now. After we change it, we got first name and last name, Jim Davis, right? You can do a similar. Ex I'll do the. I'll lift that as an exercise for you. Okay. Exercise here. Exercise for you. Uh, print out Jonathan's first and last names. Okay. I'll I'll say I'll just make it a little bit more systematic for you. One and two. Set. Jonathan's names to, let's say, Jonathan Cooper, for example. Okay, Jonathan is first name, Cooper is last name. You can do that. And then print out Jonathan's first and last name. That's your exercise. Just follow what we did for Jim. Of course, the only thing you gotta change is the objects that you call, right? And also the values you pass as the inputs. Okay, I'm running out of time now, so I think for the very best, I'll talk about it in the class. Then we can re revisit that later. Okay. But any questions before I let you go? Okay. Okay, feel free to stay if you've got questions. Otherwise, I'll see you on Thursday for the quiz. And this quiz will cover two dimensional things. Okay. Hmm? Only two dimensional things. Okay, see you on Thursday.